Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne, happy Monday! Today we're going to start the week with a fan home release of the next four stages of Build Your Own Kit from Knight Rider. So we're doing stages 59 to 62, all about the seats. Can't help having a Monday where we get to sit in our seats and even make seats. Anything to do with seats today, I'm up with. It's all good. <laughs> if you want to get this for yourself, I have put the link down here in the video description to the Fan Home website and you can get this all the way from pack one. So if you remember what we did in the last pack, we actually created uh, the first seat the driver's seat in there uh, with the badge there that come from Mike Lane. I'm going to be putting the other badge from Mike Lane on the other seat that we're going to create today. We're also going to be creating the seat at the back here. So uh, let's get on with that. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So here we go, stage 59. We're going to be starting the next seat. And just as I pointed out last time, lovely rubbery material and a nice texture on this uh, seat as well. So all we're going to do is once again take the sponge and that's going to go in here like that. Then we're going to take the base of the seat and this is going to be going underneath the taps here around each side. So don't be afraid to give this a little bit of uh, pulling around just so we can get these tabs over each one of the holes in there. And then using BP screws, which are BP, I mean DP screws that we've got here. Get these all out. These are flange screws. And they're just gonna go into the base that you can see here again. I'm not pushing down on it. I'm letting the screw do the work and push the top up to me. So again, let's do the opposite one here. See, screw do the work and let that push up to me. Perfect. So, all in all, there's six of these to get in. So I'll put these all in, and we'll look how this looks like. And there you go, they're all in, and that is all there is to do in that stage. Now these seat stages are remarkably quick. So uh, <laughs> I don't think there's going to be uh, much to do in this pack, to be honest with you. So in stage 60, we're going to be creating the next frame that's going to go on the bottom of the seat. And we're going to be doing the brackets on the side of the seat as well. Uh, putting this down here. So by the end of it, it's looking just like that. So got stage 60 here. Let's get that open. And just like last time, we're going to be creating the side seat brackets. So both, basically these two parts are going to go together where we've got the open side here is going to go against that side just there. So as you can see, it is able to operate, but it is all one piece. Now we're going to be putting this into the seat that we've just created here. Now, if you see here, we've got a tab and we've got a slot looking like that. That's going to go into this side of the chair, which has got the same tab and slot. Push that through. And then we're going to want to put this in place by putting a screw down there. That's a BP screw. And I've got that all waiting to go just here. So get that nice and tight in there. That will hold that side into place. Let's put that to one side because now we're going to be taking the base and the little uh, brace at the bottom. So when this goes in this way round, this is going to be able to move backwards and forwards like you saw on the previous one. Now once again they're held in with DM screws. So I've got them here going into metal here so i have put some oil on there not just to get the screw in but to also ensure that this is able to freely slide backwards and forwards if you remember the other seat i did i caked it in oil i mean you're never going to see the bottom of the seat once it's in so it's not going to hurt anything but we are Getting that in there. All the way. As you can see, that's in and able to move. This whole thing now can conform to the shape of the seat here by going this way round, just over the top like this. 
make sure it's all in the cavity there and that's going to be held in with BP screws. We need four this time so as long as it's all lined up okay these should go in no problems at all. So I've got two in there let's get the other two in. That was one just there and here's the second one. So this is now what the passenger seat is looking like and that is all there is to do in that stage. So stage 61, let's have a quick flick through the magazine of this one. We're gonna be creating, I'm guessing the back of the seat, which we are looking like that, piecing both these seats together and then we've got a bracket to put in here and this time I promise I will remember to put the screw in. I didn't do that last time. I had to do that after the uh, after the video had finished and you guys reminded me of it. Put the seat into the floor pan so then we've got both seats in place. I will put that little sticker on as well. Uh, I'm using Mike Lane's one rather than the one that comes in the kit. So just like last time we've got this rubbery chair here and we're going to be putting a sponge just into the middle like that. And then we're going to be closing this whole section down with this base here. So all of these tabs are gonna go underneath here to hold this in, just like this. One at the bottom there, and there we go. They're all in. Now, once again, remember these are held in slightly differently. We've got two MP screws going into the top here. All the rest of these are gonna be LP screws. So I think I'll do the MP screws here first. Now these MP screws are just holding gently because they're not actually going into anything but rubber. So that's why I'm not going to town on making sure these are really tight because you'll be able to strip that rubber thread in seconds. So we are really talking hand tight, just like that, perfect. See, not gonna come out. All the rest of these are LP screws. And just like we did on that first seat, when I put these in, I'm not putting any pressure down. I'm letting the screw do the work and pull the plastic up to the screw. So there is five of these to put in. So I'll get all of these into place. And that is absolutely perfect. They're all in. What we're gonna do now is put these seats together. So once again, we have got a little slot in the side here, which this one's gonna go in just like that. And that's held in with a BP screw just through that hole there. I haven't even bothered opening another pack here because we've got BP screws left over from the last few stages. So there we go, that's in on that side. We're then gonna be putting the back on, which just goes over the top here. And as you can see, clipping it all in, making sure it's flush all the way around. We've got two screws to put in here once again. These are BP screws, so I've still got one left over from the previous pack, so one in there. And then I will open the other pack now and get another one out. That's just gonna go in that point there. And then to correct what I didn't do properly last time was I'm gonna be putting this little bracket in this side here. So into the larger hole, into the smaller hole up here. And then in the middle, you can see we've got a hole there. I'm gonna put a BP screw. So if you have been following me along avidly, make sure you've done that to the first seat as well, because I'm never gonna hear the end of it. <laughs> there we go. That one's in, so the seat can go backwards and forwards, like you can see there. I do believe this is for the belt, so uh, we'll be doing that later. We're gonna put this in the car. And I say the car, what I actually mean is the floor pan here. I'm just gonna stick down the mat now because I haven't put down the mat on this side. Now, once again, these mats are available through Mike Lane's website, mikelanemods.com. So I'm just gonna get this into where I actually want it. Let's have it there. And then this seat is gonna go into the holes that we can see either side, just like that. And it's gonna be held in from the underside with GM screws. So one in here, get that in nice and tight. Excellent, one in the other side here. 
And there you go, as you can see, the chair moves forwards and backwards there, but that's both of the seats in. Uh, obviously, it wouldn't be the World of Wayne channel because I forgot to put things in until it's a Monday morning, which means I've got to put the back on, which uh, I'm just going to clip into here now. That just clips on like that. And then the last thing I need to do is just put that Mike Lane mod on, which is the seat badge, which I've still got one left in here. Now, if you're unsure how I put this on or you want this in more detail, I'll... Uh, you'll see how I do this in the other video. So it's just a take, case of taking the badge, put it on this adhesive sheet here, like that, pushing it down and that transfers the stickiness onto the badge. And then we can take the badge off and just put this where it goes on the seat. Just like that. Perfect. I do have one more mat which I haven't stuck in yet, so I'm going to do that now. And there we go. That's in place. Looking pretty impressive, huh? <laughs> but that's all there is to do in that stage. So in the last stage, in stage 62, as you can see, we've got a back seat to put in now, which looks just like this. So when that's in, it's just going to go into this point just behind the driver's seat there. So I do guess that means that in the next pack, we'll probably be putting in the last seat. And then I'm guessing that this whole floor pan will be ready to go into the main body of the car. And then that would be fun. <laughs> We're going to be putting a sponge just back in here. This time the sponge is going this way round. We're becoming a dab hand at how to put these seats in now. Then we've got the bracket, which is just going to go in like the other ones here. Again, don't be afraid to push this around. It can be a bit tricky. There you go. And the front one, there you go. And then once again, we've got some DP screws here. We'll get that in. Exactly like last time, we're gonna let the screw do the work and bring the plastic to the rubbery material and not the other way around. There's the second one. And this one here is the third one. Excellent. Now this has got a hole and a lug, which is gonna go into the lug and the hole that we can see there, making sure we're not trapping the belt here. So this is gonna go in like this. There we go, that's slotted in lovely. That's held in with a BP screw. We've got them in this pack. So grab one of them. Turn it over and just screw that in from here. As you can see, can't get that any tighter. And there we go, that's that back seat in. And there we go. That is all there is to do in that stage. That's all there is to do in that pack. I like that, look at that, that looks really good. So once again, I'm gonna show you on this camera here. That looks really good. <laughs> I love it. Be great to get this in the car though and then start connecting those wires up again because I wanna make sure all my electrics work again. I haven't tested them since we unplugged them, so I'm hoping that they still work. I can't see why not. If you like what you see here and you want to get this for yourself, I have put the link in the video description to the Fan Home website. You can get this all the way from pack one. But I really hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.